As you can tell, the freeze got to a lot of things. So today we are going to uh, take out a few plants that got hit pretty hard with the freeze. The bananas will be fine. The leaves will just fall down. A lot of my moringa got hit pretty good too, as you can tell, with the uh, the dead leaves, with the not all of them. So, and then a big accomplishment we had was we finally got the greenhouse plastic. We were able to get it up. Not in time for the freeze, obviously, but um, we're going to go ahead and get this straightened out and ready. But there's the, there's some of the way of papaya. We got to take the top of that down. But uh, we'll be able to uh, get this all ready for when we get the uh, boards. How is it on the inside? You're not inside yet. This year, we're going to do it to where there's one opening over here for just the winter time. And Donald says he has an idea to make this to where we can leave it on. We actually bought some really good greenhouse plastics, supposed to last four years. It's clear. So it's not the white crap and it won't get brittle. Is this six millimeter, was it? It's six millimeter. Yeah, six mil. So it's a little bit thicker plastic. It's UV protected. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try and get this squared away and get the bricks down. and So that way we can at least hold it down for right now until we get the wood. Huh? Yeah. And then as you can tell... <laughs> tree just fried. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing we cut it. Look at that grasshopper. Oh, I hate these guys. Yeah, kill it. You'll have to kill it. They'll eat everything. Ugh. Yeah, this for this poor banana tree looked like it melted. And then all of my red sorrel this. will be taking that out. It's fried. This thing got bugs in it. What? Yeah. Where do you see bugs? Look right here. Oh no. It's right, it healed up. Did it? Well, don't yeah. keep picking at it because we got I cold think weather. It was from last year when we cut it back so hard. Yeah. Well, this yeah. this one's doing the same thing. Yeah, we're gonna it's have splitting. To be but there's new growth at the bottom. Yeah, it'll, it'll. And all of the, uh, you could tell the uh, sweet potato vines got hit pretty hard too. <laughs> yeah, this this freeze kind of hit hard, didn't it? Yeah. Mm. And that and that was just a freeze warning. That was what thirty two degrees. Yeah, 32 degrees. But as you can tell, the cassava we planted got hit hard too. But the cassava's under the ground, so it should spring back with no problems. And then um, our special strawberries. Look, we already got a strawberry bloom. And yesterday we had a strawberry out of here, so we actually ate it. It was so good. So sweet. And our lemongrass is going to seed. So we're happy about that. Oh, even that little banana got hit hard. But we're just taking it easy today. Just putting around, doing some stuff. So 
on to this thing. <laughs> Putting the goats out. Yep. Letting them have a little bit of fun. Huh? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are so stinking cute. <laughs> he, she's the one that has the horns, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and put her on her. <laughs> Gotta be careful with your little horns. so cute if you want to film more sideways we can do that no i got plenty <laughs> they headbutt through the fence yeah oh that was a good smack there It's like they know to be gentle with each other. It's like she knows he doesn't have horns. <laughs> Bonnie looks like she's getting tired. You know this Clyde's getting like a little bit of a beard going. Mm -hmm. All right, All right let's guys. put her up. Come on, Bonnie girl. That's enough playtime. Yep, enough playtime. Let's go eat. Come on. They're like, no. Come on, Come Bonnie. on, you gotta go eat some grass. Come on, Bonnie. Nope, 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 n
Yeah. All right, let me get there. Let me get her water, and then we can take a little lunch break. Hi, Clyde boy. Hi, my Clyde boy. You my lovey. You my lover boy. All right, guys. We were able to get two sides done. It's starting to get too late, so we um went ahead. And we got the uh, plastic tucked under for the night. Um, I'll have to think of something else for tomorrow. We're not exposed to get the colder weather until Tuesday night now. But for right now, it's uh, at least held in. And uh, it'll keep uh, any frost out for now or colder, you know, colder weather. Mainly the sour sap is what we have an issue with. Anything below 50 degrees, it sends it into a shock. It loses all its leaves. Um, it's been okay. We wrapped it when we had that cold freeze. Um, we put a tarp around it with a little light bulb in there just to keep it warm. But that's all we, we're going to be able to do right now. But that's it. So we'll show you more as we get more done. Beat up by... A turkey and the chickens. Yeah. I got hit with a wing on my eye here, right By in this area. turkey, we were cutting his feathers. Yeah. And then chasing chickens because we had to trim their feathers because they were cupping out of the fence. There's a you know, little stump that sticks. Yeah, I tripped over a stump and then went head first into Good. the oak tree that was there. So I hit my shin on the stump. And then, because I was going face first in a tree, I put my hands up like this, and I got a little boo-boo there. Uh, and then I landed on my knees, so. I thought she smashed her head into oh the oak God. tree. It freaked me out. <laughs> I didn't cry. <laughs> you came close. I can't right. <laughs> oh, I just hurt. Can you get me a, a Pepsi and some... Advil, please. Yes, dear. Before we go back out. <laughs> We're taking a little break oh. so Amy can recuperate. Oh, my. All right. Just to show you a little bit more. Looks like everything went okay. Um, we covered this up. This is the sapote. It got hit. Even though it, it um, we did have it covered. That's a river birch. That's normal. Um, we covered up the, uh, this is our curry leaf and it looks like it's doing pretty good because it's getting new, uh, new leaves on it. Here is the LSU fig. We had this covered. Figs are doing good and we got new growth. Um, uh, this was the brown turkey. I don't know if that's going to make it. These poor little bananas. Here's one of the cranberries, cranberry hibiscus. That just, the frost just took it. Um, that's the fire bush. Um, technically with fire bushes, you're supposed to cut them back before the first freeze, but we just didn't have time to. I will be cutting that back here soon. Um, this is the beetle leaf. We did cover this, but it looks like it's still got a little bit of damage. There's another one of our papayas. Um, it looks like just the tops of things. Anything underneath seems to be okay. This is uh, one of my moringas that I cut down a couple of weeks ago. Everything else looks okay. Uh, my shampoo ginger made it okay. It's uh, dying back anyways. It's already produced for the year. I did have a few of the um things pop up and flower but they were really short so i'm hoping next year it'll be better and then there's more of our bananas these two right here are the rhino plantains so they're just a lot of frost damage normal some of it's normal stuff
Is Bonnie getting your attention? <laughs> and then over here, my... These guys love the understory. They're mainly understory, but since the tree company took the tree down, this is the big broadleaf, velvet leaf. Um, got hit. We didn't get a chance to cover this, but it had already flowered for the season, so I wasn't too worried about it. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Bunny girl. How's Bonnie doing? Can you say hi to everybody? <laughs> Meh. Lover boy Clyde. You starting to smell like an adult male goat. Yes, you are. What do you mean he's starting to smell? He's starting to stink. Oh, I can smell it. Yeah. He didn't smell like that this morning. Well, that was before he got the... Uh, he started doing his whole lip thing. He did a lip thing? Yeah, you know that. He did that? I didn't see him do that. Yes, he did that. Uh-oh. Are you recording that? <laughs> really? Clyde's becoming a bull man, going from a boy to a My man. My boy's becoming a man. Yes. Does he that. look like he's gonna get waddles? He's gonna he's gonna get his little beard. Yes, he is. He's getting his beard. He's not gonna get no horns though. He ain't get. Arr, that's cool. Cause I like to get some natural hornless females to breed him with to see if we can raise them without horns so we don't have to i don't mind the horns actually well you don't mind them now <laughs> wait till they get a little older and they start hitting you in the butt with them <laughs> yeah he see how his fur is starting to color yeah that's because he's starting to spray himself Clyde. He's gonna be a stinky boy. He's gonna be a stinky boy. Uh, funny. He's trying to make himself desirable for Bonnie. Bonnie, the females love that musk smell, <clears throat> the urine smell. That's their cologne, ain't it? That's an aphrodisiac. You better wash that hand then. <laughs> Oh, you yeah. Your knee doing okay? Uh, I, on that be all right. I know. <sighs> well, I guess. We're just pretty much done for today. We just gotta wait for the uh, chickens to go in. Yeah, I'm gonna get a hold of Hi, Clyde. She wants the passion fruit, and we can pick up that goat's milk that you want to try to make the. Hi, Clyde. Soap out of. <laughs> he is frisky. It's this nice, cool weather. Yeah. Because I just want to play. I know they always want to play, huh? Come here, buddy. This bump. Come on, push. push. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. <laughs> we better put him up first. Yeah. Before we put her up. Hi, Clyde. <laughs> what, buddy? Yeah. You want to go ahead and... Do we want to go ahead and put them up before we go, before I get a hold of Jennifer? Mm, maybe. Don't eat it! No! Don't eat it! Don't eat it! <laughs> he jerked that right out of my hand! You silly goofball! <laughs> hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.